Hello, everybody. It is so awesome to see you here. I've actually missed you guys since Wednesday. It hasn't even been that long. I'm crazy. Um, I made sure I had my other microphone plugged in. Can you guys just do a sound check for me and let me know if it's too loud, not loud enough, or if I should switch back to my regular mic? That would be fabulous. Fabulous. Oh, car junkie. Hello, hello. We got Dream on Wheels and Lillian is here. TGIF, the Morris family. Diane Phoenix is here. Christina with the Dyson's Crazy Adventures. Michael Ann Spoiled Mama. Ava Potterfield and Friends. Hella artsy dude. We got Tom's Wild and Wonderful Views. Hope Bus. Janice from Oz. Down to the Adventure. Dee Jelly, good to see you here. You know, before I want to forget, Hope Bus put a thing out there early in this live stream before it started. So kindly offering me a place to stay with them if I was in the Niagara area when I'm in Ontario. And sweetheart, that was such a thoughtful, wonderful um, offer. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'll get to see you when I'm down there. I will be staying with my aunt. Hey Floss, Mo Bang for Your Bucks, Tracy Ocean Fire, She Devil Adventures, Frederick Heron. Oh my goodness, there's lots of people in here. Wow. Wow. Cool. Um, so when I will be in Ontario, if all things stay as planned, I will be there from September the 8th. I land late, and then I leave really early September 16th. So from the 8th to the 16th, my actual available days are the 9th to the 15th. And we are having a meetup at Port Bruce at the Pavilion by the Water. I've never been there, but that's what I'm told. The Pavilion by the Water from noon to 4 that day. So hopefully I'll get to see a lot of you guys there. Hello, Anne. Hello, Ray. Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming in. Um, first of all, I want us all to say some prayers for Gina and all the people in Oregon right now. They are going through some crazy um, increases in numbers and all sorts of different things going on. Um, much love to you, Gina. You know the offer is always there to come to Canada. Um, just make sure you do what you need to take care of yourself because we all love you. We really, really do. Okay, let me see who else is in here. Water Girl Family Adventures. Hello, Jennifer. Good to see you. Auntie Cindy, it's by the pier. Piers by the water, right? Right? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Who else is in here? I think I missed someone else. Oh, Tim, you're thirsty. I've been drinking my coffee. I got my son to grab me a double level. Hang on. I do have, I've been dwindling down alcohol because I'm going to be gone for weeks. I do have one thing in the fridge. Let me just play something for you guys while I go grab that. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are traits deeply ingrained in our country's DNA. For many of us who travel this glorious country of ours, we thrive as we engage with and witness its awesome bounty. Unfortunately, many of our brothers and sisters who've helped make all of this possible aren't thriving. Visit HeroSoapCompany.com and place your order using coupon code BADGE at checkout. Not only will you receive a discount, but you'll be helping BADGE help our vets. I believe in the soap, I've tried it, it works awesome, and that's why I'm doing it. Haven't seen that one in a while, hey? I don't even know how I found it. Oh, it was uh, saved on a backup. Um, what do you call those things? You plug in your computer. That I should be backing everything up on all the time, but I forget to. Oh. Tim, this is the last bit of alcohol I have in the house. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. It's greatly appreciated. I have an idea of what I'm using tonight's super chats for too, and I'll tell you guys a little bit later. Um, why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> I need a laugh track. I, I need a laugh track. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ms. Ellie, good to see you. Bad Janelle, wonderful to have you guys here. Oh, let me catch up. Let me catch up. Wow. Hey, Steve with Desert Adventures in Arizona. Good to see you. How many of you guys checked out the video that I just released today um, about traveling with no luggage? If you could put a one or a two in the chat to let me know, yes, number one, you've seen it, two, if you haven't. Oh, Lillian, prayers for you, too. Yeah, I was looking up some stuff online today, and it's just crushing. So for those that are my closest friends that want to come to Canada, well, you still can, send me a message. I have four extra bedrooms. <laughs> Hello, Travel Adventures with Eric. Good to see you, Nomadic Ramblers. Hello. Ron Daryl Adventures is here, traveling on. Hello, good to see you. Wow. I'm scrolling so fast, I'm missing everybody's conversations. DJ, get some hero soap. I can smell you from here. <laughs> oh, hard drive. That's right. <laughs> my goodness. Sometimes I wonder how I may get through a day. Camping therapy. So good to see you. Robin Jan Can Van, Kathleen Klein. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. USB drive. Yeah. Okay. I got to hit this button here. Catch up. So has nobody seen my video? Jennifer has. Tim has. Mm, okay. That's fine. Ron has. Thank you, Ron. So basically, while I was doing my packing for a couple weeks away from home, I thought, okay, I'll just throw a video together. And you guys know I'm terrible with videos. And in fact, there's this giant thing of lint. Like, is there so much dog hair here? So between my hair and the dogs, it did look like a bug. And Janice called me on it. Thank you, Janice. So then I tried to go back into the editor because I already had it uploaded. And I tried to blur it. So if you watch a video, you're going to see this fuzzy spot going all over the place, but it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I should have just pulled it down and redone it. I'm, I got to quit being a one shot kind of person. Well, one shot. You guys watched me do 17 that one time. <laughs> Hello, Timmy Ray. Mm. Everybody's been busy. Okay, Nate, I won't complain about dog hair. I won't complain about dog hair. But Nate had made a comment on, on my video, a nice comment, and then someone made a not-so-nice comment about my weight after it. So Nate and I have had a couple little laughs about that. Oh, don't you just love YouTube? Ah, hello, Anne Holland. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, so I'm going to be layered in lots of clothes. But here's the thing, you guys. I thought it was so funny. Fox Fan D's like, marshmallow, you're going to be a roasted marshmallow. <laughs> but when I just go in and show them my my thing that they scan, my boarding pass, once I get through security and stuff, I'm taking my coat off. And then on the plane, I don't even need to wear all of that. I can take it off and just have it on my lap or whatever. So that's okay. But airplanes do tend to be a lot cooler. This is also the first time I got like a really good quality mask um, because I'm going to be on the airplane and it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't know. I haven't been around very many people. Although if I'm on this trip to Vancouver and I don't want to be around a lot of people, I should just go check out the zoo because if any of you just watched the Morris family's video, <laughs> there were so few people, not even all the animals were there. <laughs> so maybe I'm worrying over nothing. <laughs> Hello, Outdoor Adventures with Ron, Fit for Expedition. Thank you so much for coming in. Hello, Don Don. Good to see you here. So, yeah, you guys, I have been going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Daryl, don't even get me started on the uncensored version of things. I tell you, you get on YouTube and then you have a more of a public Facebook channel or page and let me tell you, I've gotten a lot of pictures. Ones that Gina can't share on her Boys of Summer live streams. Weird. Weird. Let's not even go there. Let's not even go there. 
Uh, okay. So in that video, I'm literally layering, layering up clothes. I bought these bags and if you roll your clothes, it vacuum seals everything. And I really, really dwindle down what I'm taking with me. I think it's a short and sweet kind of video, kind of get straight to the point, but I even have extra room in there. And I'm excited because in that video, I forgot I want to take a pair of sandals and I didn't put my phone charger in there. And there was one more tank top I wanted to take. Crazy. Am I crazy? Don't answer. Don't answer. Oh, let me see. I just had a question. Let me catch that. Timmy Ray had a question. Van Vita, I got to ask you a question. Um, as a Canada, the Canadian border is open for Americans to come across land to Canada, but Canadians still cannot cross the border into the U.S. That again has been renewed for another month. So now we're looking at the earliest is September 21st. So that's why a lot of people have had to change their plans like that. Janelle, unfortunately, are not going to be able to go to M21 for the amount of distance that is and not knowing if the border is going to be open in time. It's really, really, really sad to see. Hello, Nomadic Ramblers. Old car junkies here. No, Paula, just weird like the rest of us, Kathleen says. You guys are hilarious. Oh, Janice, thank you so much for your compliment on my packing. And you know what? I No, I'm not going to wear three pairs of shoes. No. I um I I looked up a lot of stuff too for different tips and I realized, okay, I need to know where I'm going. I'm traveling in Canada. It's not like when I go to Cuba, for example. When I go to Cuba, I'll take the equivalent of that purse pretty much in medications alone. Um, and then I, I leave it there um, for, for people. But because a lot of stuff isn't available there the same. I mean, Canada, I don't need any of that kind of stuff. Um, I don't need to worry about sunscreens and bug sprays and hairsprays and all that stuff. Because if I really need it, I can just go buy it. And if I'm going to buy a travel size, why not, for example, when I get to Vancouver, buy it there, use it, use the small one in the same time. And I didn't have to take it with me on my next flight. Right. So it's kind of know where you're going, where I'm staying. I'm staying with family. I don't need any of the hygiene stuff except for my deodorant um, because they have it all there. And makeup, Amy, I'm going to borrow some eyeshadow. And, you know, to do my hair, whatever, really, if I don't want to really do it, I'll just buy some spray gel, spray it, and keep it curly. There's so many ways to really make things easier. I do have a pair of socks um, that I did add in, D-Jelly. Thank you. I had the pair that I'm wearing with the shoes, throwing in the sandals. Yeah. And then when I'm there... I'm like, okay, what am I going to do if I find stuff I want? Well, I know for sure if I'm going to get anything on my trip that's like a memento, I'm wearing my old hat, like my old hat. It is time to retire that hat, so I'll look for a new hat. Although I did get a really nice hat from Janice, and it's got Australia and his kangaroo on it too. Yeah, I am so lucky. I'm so spoiled. It, there's a short on my channel with the stuff that she sent me as well. Yeah, we still can't go. We can fly, though, if we had somewhere to stay. Americans are seeking asylum in Canada. <laughs> oh, my. Let me catch up with the chat. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> Those special pictures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just wear a sarong, multi-purpose clothing optional. Ah, uh, no. The thing is, too, if I was going on a hot holiday or somewhere tropical, somewhere warmer, I'm not going to, I wouldn't need as many thick layers as well. I would just need one warmer sweater and that would be it. But I'm traveling in Canada, you guys. Like today it would have been, well, what would that be in Fahrenheit? I'm trying to think for most of you. Cold. <laughs> Um, like the temperatures at night are getting down to like eight degrees Celsius, which is what, 40, 45 at night for you guys. 
So I, and I'm going to be in the mountains for a bit too. So that's definitely going to keep things cooler. That's why I'm taking as many clothes as I have. I guess I could have gotten away with a couple less shirts and pants just for the fact I could wash them more often. It's not like I don't have a washing machine available. Right. But yeah, I just wanted to see how much I could fit in there. And I can't believe I could take all that luggage, make three flights, no carry-on, no suitcase, and I'm only spending $227, although I did adjust one flight. When I was coming home, I was going to fly from Toronto to Regina so that I could drive home or come home, um, but things have changed a bit. My son's heading off to university. He is going to go live in residence. He's not going to do it online this time. So while I'm gone, he's taking my vehicle out to Calgary. That way he can take all of the stuff that he wants and I'm going to fly now to Calgary and then drive back home from there. So part of me is sad because I won't get to see him soon, but I will get to see him again, right? So the whole mom thing can just chill and relax a little bit. Just chill and relax. Let me see what else we got here. Um. DJ, have you got the clay clean? It's spotless now. Oh my God, you guys, that was so funny today. I'm getting all these messages from my brother. Now, this is the first time that I've gone out to Vancouver to see them. And they've been there for, I think, a couple of years now. And he's like, do you like instant coffee? Or what kind of coffee do you want in the morning? If you want, I'll go buy a Keurig. <laughs> like, I'm kind of feeling special. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm good. The coffee press, instant coffee, whatever. It's go to the dollar store. I'll, I'll find a way to do it like that. Hello, Laura. Good to see you. 3 a.m. Forge. Hello, hello. And then he's like, well, what do you want for breakfast? What kind of breakfast food do you like? Blah, 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 on and on and on. And then the last one was a joke because he realized he kept checking in with me. He goes, and thread count on your sheets? <laughs> Oh, I love my family so much. I am so blessed, you guys. It was awesome. And we do have stuff planned. Although, I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on DJ in a minute. I should get someone to come up here and help me kind of pressure him. Did I really need four pairs of pants? No. Yeah, because I have two pairs of capris. Long legging-ish kind, another pair of capris. Yeah, I know I didn't need that much, but I could. I'm so happy about that. Actually, I could have just stayed with all black pants. Took took a tank, a t-shirt, a sweater, right? Underwear, obviously. And I didn't count my bra because that's just kind of a given. So, I mean, in that you could wash every night if you wanted, seriously. Mm, did they give you a reason for the Canada not being open? Uh, just that the, the United States um, doesn't want to open it yet and then have to close it again. They're just not prepared to have us come in. Although, you know, some of those northern states, too, the numbers are really, really jumping. Uh, no, I am not turning my underwear inside out to wear them for two days. A Sharpie for eyeliner. You know what I could do, Kathleen? Now, I just need to get a lot of tattoos. I need to get my eyebrow. Well, my eyebrows I had kind of semi done. I need to do them again. I need to get my eyeliner tattooed. I need to get my lips tattooed. And then just glue on some lashes and I'm golden. No makeup. Kidding, you guys. I'm kidding. Let's see what else we got here. I can always mail stuff, except remember it took three months for me to send you something to Australia, but it only took two weeks for you to send me something. Although if I find a lot of stuff that I absolutely love, I'll just spend 40 or $50 and pay for a carry on and take it with me. So it's, it's not like I'm stuck. I just really like the challenge of doing this. And you know, I can go buy stuff used if I feel like I need some more stuff and donate it when I leave. That's always an option too. It's just mostly not having much on me when I do the travel. You guys were 31. Oh, that's right. You guys are having a hot wave out there. Oh, sure. Cost you DJ on the washing machine and drying clothes. Okay. I'll buy some paper plates on there just so you don't have to use extra water. Ay, ay, ay. 
Wear one set of clothes, take another. There's bound to be some soap no matter where you go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and I know I do have, I have a ridiculous amount of stuff packed in that little purse. Ridiculous. I totally know I don't mean need it all. 33. Okay, you, for those in the U.S., that's Celsius. That's, what is 33 in Fahrenheit? 95 and or up? Um, let me see. Where am I now? I'll end up looking like a sumo wrestler. I am totally okay with that. As long as I have what I need. <laughs> uh, cotton sheets keep you warmer. I like it a little cooler when I sleep. <laughs> and I'm not wearing three bras. Oh my goodness, you guys. In fact, I'm leaving my sports bras at home. I'm taking just one with me, the one I'm wearing there. And it would have taken a lot less room if my bathing suit was a bikini. I'm not a bikini wearing kind of gal. I, I got a lot to work on if that's going to happen. But man, I could have taken a few of them for the size of what mine is right now. A garbage bag works as a raincoat. That is true. And you can go to the dollar store and get a super cheap raincoat. One thing that I have around the house that I absolutely forgot. It's literally the size of like, a you know, those little Kleenex packages that you can put in your purse that are flat or maybe figure the size of my phone. And it's flat and it's a bag and you unfold it. And then when you have everything you want out of your purse from when you're doing your stuff, you can just keep it in that bag and then fold it back up and toss it back in. I will... I will buy some if I find it on my trip and show you guys what I'm talking about. Get your underwear tattooed. And you guys think I'm the crazy one? Shave my head. No shampoo needed. Really? Really? That's not going to work for me. Not for me. No, Nate, do not join Ray. Don't, you guys. Go natural. <laughs> Have you seen me? <laughs> I wish. Hey, Amy, good to see you. Um, the reason I think our border is open to Americans is because we just had an election called. And so a lot of Canadians are wanting the, the tourism and, and everything else coming into Canada. The States has already done their elections, right? So they don't need to worry about that pressure. No hair saves on anything. Oh, Tom, thank you. Like you need makeup anyways. Sheesh, let me go find a thank you for you. I have so many different things set up on here. It is ridiculous. There you go. Thank you so much. Janice, you figured the box went faster than the envelope? Maybe, maybe. Um, I'm sure I have seen a Canada Post, and I'm going to have to go check it again, where you can get this particular box, and you can fill it as, as full as you can. And I think it doesn't even matter how much it weighs, and it's a flat charge for the box. I, I, I'm sure I've seen something like that before, but I'm definitely going to go check that out. Hello, Prairie Life. Good to see you. And yeah, no shaving my head. Thank you, Karen. What is this? Smear a lead pencil on your eyelids, berries on your cheeks, bite your lip for that pink pouty look. <laughs> I'd have to bite my lip really hard. Nah, it's all good. Actually, all I'd ever want is just, even just mascara, that would make me happy. Bunnies, you could use this with my bra as a backpack. <laughs> D. You don't need pants, just ask Gina. Gina, you got something you want to fess up to? Mm -hmm. All right. Ringo and Czar. Hey, cool name. If the party store don't sell it, you don't need it. I love it. I love it. That's right. Hello, Rideshare Road Warrior, Rick. Exactly. Buy what I need when I get there. Get small amounts. There you go. Nate. It, 
Really? Body paint, Ray? Really? You, you know, you two are some pretty big talkers tonight. I think you guys have each might have dipped in the sauce. I'm going to call you up on my live stream if you guys don't smart up. <laughs> threats, threats. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Yeah, I could totally go to Goodwill and, and buy whatever I wanted. Over the shoulder, boulder holder. Laura. Laura. It's crazy. Uh, what is this? Ah, Lillian, you're so sweet. I actually look like a boy with no makeup on. There you go. Yep. Exactly, Kathleen. Buy them, wear them, donate them back. Why not? And yeah, that's totally cheaper than paying for all the luggage. Right? Hey, Angie. Good to see you. Hey, Angie. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you. It was nice to catch your live stream earlier today. Um, Uh-oh, she missed mine. I'm safe. I'm assuming this is Travis. Travis, spit it out. Spit it out. You could be in trouble. I have a feeling you're going to be in trouble. Oh, I'm going to see. It's all about the butt. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Laura has six younger brothers, so she heard the over-the-shoulder boulder holder a lot. <laughs> Angel. Jeez. Dollarama. Yeah, Amy. My sister-in-law has some really good makeup, too. <laughs> I don't even have to worry. That's a nice thing. Uh-oh, look what you started, Ray. Kathleen wants to see you in some body paint. The instigator gets away free. Oh, did he start it all? Did you start all this crap, buddy? You guys, some Jimmy Deans. I must be missing lots, you guys. Can't catch you. There's a border in the way. I can still fly over, sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, what did I miss? Tom says, you'll need to find out if your plane has a phalange. <laughs> oh, here we go, right? <laughs> You're such a turkey. Want to hear a good one? The U.S. Postal Office is planning a slowdown starting in October. Oh, wear DJ's clothes. I could wear his hoodies and T-shirts, but I wouldn't be able to wear his pants because this girl's got hips that that boy don't have. The layers look suspicious and be body searched. Bonus. <laughs> I should add that as a bonus tip at the end of my video. Oh, Kathleen, Kathleen, I missed your girl. The flux capacitor too. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put an invite down here. And this is for the boys. The ones are creators that I know that I know well, like Ray and Nate and Travis, you guys come up here. I got some questions for you. And I, I need you, since you guys are already instigators in this chat, I got something else that I need you to help instigate. So you guys just come catch this link and pop up here. I need a little backup for something that I'm going to try to pull off today. I'm definitely not going to wear his underwear, Lillian. Oh, my God. <laughs> And the thing is, you can totally go without underwear. I used my all of my 20s, I did that. But if you're going to wear your clothes several days, yeah, I think you should be changing your underwear. It's just a hygiene thing, right? It's just a hygiene thing. And I mean, you're still showering, so whatever. I need to keep track because in half an hour, what we're going to do is we are going to go raid a brand new channel. And it's my other channel. It's my midlife detour. And I have a very special guest who is coming on there. She's super cool. You guys all know her and love her. And she's going to come on there with me. And I have one of the little pains in the asses in the basement. I'm hoping the other two get up here. <laughs> come on, Nate. Come on, Ray. Don't be chickens. Don't be chickens. Don't be chickens. Actually, Barry, you are more than welcome to catch that link too, dear. Mmm. <laughs> Learning so much stuff you can do without for small living areas. Yeah, it is so 
it's such a relief to know that you can do stuff freer, like less baggage, less luggage, less, I don't know, less baggage in all areas of your life, right? It is good, good, good. Um, I'm going to catch up with this chat and then I'm going to bring up Travis. <clears throat> uh, no, it's not Gina. I know y'all love Gina, but it's not Gina this time. A few strategically placed tribal tattoos will do the trick, right? Oh, here we go. Now I should be sending him money. <laughs> you, are, <laughs> you are my favorite person. How can it be a midlife crisis when you're in your early 20s? Right? I think he's been in the sauce today, too. <laughs> gosh one more troublemaker in the basement let me see all right i'm gonna bring these guys up hello boy now we can you all see me in the chat i was in some of this <laughs> is it just me or is nobody talking did you guys text each other and tell each other to not talk Apologist turned as red as her cat. Darn right. Right, the troublemakers, the troublemakers. So I know one of them has volume because it's crackling in the background. And uh, Travis doesn't seem to have any issues. So he's just sitting there smiling. And I heard noise in the background. Oh, Nate, will it not work for you? My internet's not broke it. fast enough, apparently. Oh, we can hear you now. Jeez, you little turkeys. Silence. It was the crickets I heard, Laura. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are they muted? Nate, you're beardless. Oh, didn't mean to offend. <laughs> and Travis is gone. Nate dropped out completely. Oh, we got someone else that's a little shit disturber. Are you ready? All right. Hello, hello. What's going on? Uh, I needed some of you mouthy boys to help me with something today. Yeah? Good. Because mm -hmm. you all sound a little bit uh, extra cheeky today. I'm a big fan of body paint. I have nothing... I have. No issues with body paint, that's for sure. Well, well, I just have nothing to say. Do you normally walk around with just body paint on? I can if I want to. Okay. <laughs> that's interesting. That's very interesting. We have another troublemaker up here, probably the one we all learned it from. Hello, Ron. What's up, Ron? Hey, how y'all doing? We are doing fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Kathleen says, hiya, punk. I wonder That's who me. that one's for. That is 100% me. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We got Travis back. Okay. Maybe this we This is do. what I want to talk to you guys about, and this is what I need some help. I need help putting a little pressure on my brother. You guys all know DJ, right? DJ. DJ. The Morris family? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he kind of disappeared on us, though. He's back. He's back. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys have seen in the last while, he's been calling me on about the bungee jumping, right? Mm -hmm. I think you guys need to convince him to bungee jump. Isn't he already going to jump bungee jump? He's just trying to Is convince he? you. Yeah. Huh? Doesn't he already have plans to bungee jump? Yeah. I am. Oh, we got a girl troublemaker up here. Hello, Christina. I told you. Awesome. I thought... We're crunching a little bit in the background. Is it Yeah, me? Travis has the crackling. I told you what I thought about the bungee jumping. 
What did you say? About saying you're broken. Yeah, oh, you really don't like rubbers that might break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. That's a bad day right there. That's yep. a bad day. That could last for years. <laughs> Well, DJ is going to have to bungee jump because I got it for him for his birthday, and I am going to do it with him. Oh. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Can I change my mind? Oh. I, I think it would be fun. What, Christina? I think it would be fun. Should I jump forwards or backwards? Forward. Yeah? Free, Don't do it. Free fall. Like... Free fall. Like forward. Like swan. Try to do the swan yeah. kind of thing. Yes, we are bungee jumping for DJ's birthday. And we're doing the longest zip line in North America. So it is going to be some exciting stuff. Oh, Ms. Ellie says, who films? Good question. Um, they do take pictures. I know for sure at the bungee jump, you can get you can pay whatever that probably ridiculous price is and do that. But um, DJ and I'll probably film each other, I'm thinking. I actually saw somebody recording themselves and they had their camera in their hand and they duct taped it everywhere. And you guys know I love duct tape. And I'm like, <laughs> that seems like a great idea. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, but, you know, at first I thought it'd be okay, but I'm kind of panicking now. Okay, third Great. device is the, the is the final straw. Third time's a charm. Go. Apparently, pro. my device is just way too hot still from using it for the GPS driving today. And ah. even though it's been not in use for like an hour, but it's been on the charger, it just says it's not doing it. <laughs> oh no! Hey, Travis, oh, I, I saw. Some I saw the, in the background. I saw the RV wow. on the beach right by the river. Yeah, that was at the levees in St. Louis. And You're crazy. I told her, I said, the way she took the camera, the way she was shooting it on that camera, it, the better angle is shown on the GoPro. But the way she was shooting it, you can't tell the oh. angle that I was actually sitting at. Yeah, she was like, oh, you stuck your arm out to hold on. I said, no, I stuck my arm out because I was going to flip you off. And then I remembered you were recording. <laughs> <laughs> Look pretty sketchy, my friend. Very sketchy. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it definitely felt way sketchier than what it looked like it looked very smooth on the camera compared to how it felt in the rig oh no oh yeah because and that's the as far as going down there that's the only oversized parking anywhere near downtown that you can go to safely mm. like well, I've, you know apparently some others have tried to use some of the oversized parking over near the cardinal stadium and stuff but then the rigs have gotten broken into and they come back and their whole RVs and stuff were cleared out. Mm. Like where we parked, I backed it up to where it was literally right next door to the guard shack who was taking everybody's money as they come in. Cause like when we started going, she's like, Oh yeah, you could park up there with that one. And I said, do you mind if I park it like right here? It's flatter anyway for me. And I feel better. She's like, yeah, a lot of people like to park next to me. I'm like, yeah, kind of would too. <laughs> So, so Paula, you invited us to come up here on your panel to try to convince DJ to to not do the bungee. No, jumping. to do it, to for sure do it. Okay. And to do it first. So you oh, want you him want to jump him to first. Do it first, so that you can then do it. I want him to go first in case I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, I, I well, see, had a funny I want, feeling I'll that was coming before I bungee jump. Ron knows me. Ron knows me too well. He knew exactly what I was angling here. I was just really having a hard time getting there. <laughs> oh, I love this. Jan is like, the direction you jump depends on how much body paint you're wearing. So if I jump first, should I just cover up the back end? Because the front end, that's just going to do its own thing, right? If it's paint. Well, but you might have to cover when it. You're jumping off a bridge. But you might need to cover a little bit of the front because as as you learn from the when the wind hits the side, if the wind, you know, whips something around backwards. <laughs> Gross. Oh, for goodness sakes. 
there's not that much movement, Travis. Sorry. I'll just let you know. <laughs> you know, with a couple you pasties and some body paint, you should be good. You said you didn't think your chin and everything was going to move like that either. I knew my chin was going to move. I knew that. Hey, V, good to see you here. And you're right. If I jumped out of a plane, bungee jumping should be a snap. It's a whole different ball game. DJ's like, wow, that topic changed fast. <laughs> <laughs> right, Kathleen? It's not the jumping part. It's the snapback. Yes. Yeah. That's why yeah. I say you'll catch me jumping out of a plane long before you will bungee jumping. 100%. I've actually, the bad thing is, is I've known somebody who, who snapped a leg from it. Hmm. Jump together. I love my brother, but not that much, Angie. I've seen people do those jumps all together. If you're worried about the snapback by yourself, can you imagine with another person? Like if your head just hits. clash and no. I would never do that with another person, I don't think. I say that. I said I was never gonna bungee jump either. Oh, DJ says, Oh yes, he'll do it, he'll do it. He'll do it. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I rem Why has everyone got to remind me about the cheeks flapping in the wind? I cut most of that out. You should see this footage I have of my face rippling in the wind. <laughs> and I didn't put in that video. Oh. We saw enough. Oh, hell artsy dude. Anthony, um, I was the only one that did the skydive, so... I guess that qualifies. I did skydive before him, so he should bungee jump before me. <laughs> Sounds fair enough. Oh, like like my stomach is like seriously rolling and they keep sending me emails changing things. Like we're supposed to take, is it the Sea to Sky gondola back down? And now we're not. So I don't know. It's It's not tandem bungee. Nope, I am not. Hello, Cookie, good to see you. Extra strength pasties, Kathleen. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> Gorilla tape backing. Gorilla tape. Oh my goodness. Wear a good bra. You don't want a black eye. We are actually, it's not a dare. I just wanted to bug him some more, but. Bree is a believer in extra strength pasties. <laughs> right up until yeah. you got to take them off. <laughs> Just got to pull well, really you know, hard. This hasn't come off of my phone and I have one on right a off. cup that it will not wash off of. It'd be a permanent thing. So as my weight goes up and down, that could become extremely uncomfortable. It's good branding. It's good for the channel. <laughs> Good branding, because I'm going to go waltzing around you, with no top on. You got to do it for YouTube. Hey, it's all about YouTube. I mean, if you're going to, if they do become permanent, then you just got to cut holes in your top so they show. <laughs> mm. What's this? Janice says, I reckon you'll blacken both your eyes, bungee jump and Paula, or smother. <laughs> I, I can see it now. The two pasties and body paint all in red. That's great branding, I'm telling you. How am I gonna paint everything myself? There's some areas I just can't reach. DJ will help you. Bullshit. <laughs> All right, Amy, Amy will help you. <laughs> Nobody is gonna help me. I become my nephew's new art project, like gross. <laughs> Up, down. Just dip it in the paint oh. roller and just roll it on. Yep. Just roll it on. The it end on. Of the pole, nobody has to touch you. Yep. You guys are insane. Or like this, or those like fertilizer sprayers, those little bottles hooked up to the, oh, the water go. hose. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Just take a shower with red paint. <clears throat> yeah, those damn trips and runs might be interesting. Could need some good ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna okay, you guys this can pull that off on your channels. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I like this. Yes. Or you go to one of those spray tan places and say, hey, I need you to add some red dye to this. Yes. <laughs> yes. See? That would work. That would work. I'm not doing it. Thank you very much. 
I'm going to have to once, maybe when Ray kicks off his keto life rocks and I follow along religiously and I'm the only one in the house, so I'm going to get rid of all the junk food and I'm going to do it too. Maybe for the new year, I'll be able to wear a bikini. Wouldn't that be fun? I would love to be able to do that. Right. She can't trust her on any of this stuff. You know how she backed out on you on the topless yeah right thank you ron so I'm yeah still, i know i'm man. still i'm still bent about that i know i would be too yeah i i have nothing to say on that i never <laughs> promised that i would go topless yes uh, you did you yes, too. did I did not. No, yes, did. I didn't see anyone calling me up going, oh, congrats on the 2K. Yeah, let's go do the top of the stream together since I thought of it and was pressuring you to do it. Never got that call. <sighs> do I have to do everything right, around here? Do I have to do everything around here? Yep. <laughs> I, I can't argue with that one if you didn't call her. Oh. Thank you. All right, Christina, I'm texting you now. back me up on this girl. Except for it's okay. I did remind her of it though, on a private members only live stream that nobody else showed up to. <laughs> I also remember us trying to get Ray to go uh, hatless. Yeah, but he never promised to do that. I thought we were gonna get like some kind of big beach, you know, half naked kind of thing on his channel. Coming soon. I gotta work it. on it. Gotta work on it. I gotta work on my Keto Life Rocks channel first. So I could <laughs> lose some of that. <laughs> Peggy says pour the paint on plastic and roll in it. Get yeah, thinking. see? Canadian Tire sells an airbrush kit. See, Canadian Tire is everything. I'm not joking. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Oh my God, Angie, isn't that the truth? Make sure the paint is waterproof in case you pee yourself, right? You're jumping off a bridge, free falling. I wouldn't even want to know where that would all go. <laughs> well, if you're free falling down, it's going to run up your legs. <clears throat> oh, can you imagine you come out and you just, you look like you have this pinstripe kind of pants on, but you don't. <laughs> <clears throat> oh and my they would all goodness. be so far away only you would know Genesis I like Ron's comment drip lines would look like skid marks oh my god you guys are all sick the only bad part would be on the spring back if it sprung you back into your spray I'm gonna get it in the face oh <laughs> That sound is a little different. Make than sure your do. mouth is closed. What's what's the price difference between skydiving and bungee jumping? Oh, it... like a hundred bucks, I think. I spent. I jumped from only seven thousand five hundred feet, so that was two hundred and fifty plus seventy five for the video clips, and I think it was a hundred and is it hundred and thirty each to bungee jump, something like that. Yeah. The bungee jump I know is going to be a one time only deal. Skydiving I would I wouldn't mind doing that again. I got a deal yeah, in the mail the other day. All I got a deal in the mail the other day and uh they were adver advertising a discount bungee jump that might save you a little money. A discount bungee jump makes me nervous. <laughs> we only use half the rope. We'll cut price in half. <laughs> We That's only check the connections me. once instead of twice. Yeah. Oh, I'm dying. I am dying. Single. You got time, everything off. Did she just say that? Uh oh, which comment did I say that Nate said that? Could have been pretty much anything. <laughs> what is this? Hopefully, you don't get a face full of goose on your way down, like Fabio? Goose? It's not half the rope. It's a new guy that hooks you, right? <laughs> yeah, hard pass on the discount bungee jumps. Ay, ay, ay. Crazy. OK, 
Okay, I've been doing all these new exciting things and I'm gonna be doing more exciting things. What are you guys doing to make life interesting? And well, some things you just don't talk about in public. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Ron, what won't you talk about? <laughs> we haven't found that yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, it's like I told you the other night. I don't, I don't know what's coming out of my mouth because I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! So we did oh my goodness! Because I'm still having issues on the RV. So we were going to go ahead. We started early, and it was a good thing. But we ended up making two stops, not just one, two stops that were not planned. We just said, to hell with it. We're early anyway. Let's go. And that's, yep. you know, that's what we're doing. I mean, it's just to take advantage of it. I mean, that's part of what being out here is for, is to get the kids out and see things that they've never seen before or wouldn't see. 100%. But just don't park the RV on the side of a river like this. Yeah, that's not a good I idea. I mean, you got to do what you got to do sometimes to get those epic trips in man i would like to get out of my driveway i think well, that would be extremely exciting put it in neutral and push yeah yeah because my ambulance isn't heavy at all <laughs> didn't say it was going to be an easy push yeah i know i know i know i know I'm trying to think if there was anything else I forgot. Oh, you know, I don't even know if I think I did in the live stream, but I didn't say like Nate with Land Cloud Adventures, the Morris family, Dream on Meals and Van Lake with Gina all shared out this live stream. And that is really, really appreciated. That is awesome. Ray never shares my live streams, probably because I haven't done the topless 2K. I usually raid you on Wednesdays. I know. <laughs> no. Jeez. Get your logic out of here. Nobody wants to hear it. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to radio tonight. I was this close to radio tonight. Yeah? Yeah. Probably oh, should've. Anthony wants to get his out of his driveway too, right? Crazy. Is that how you're parked, yep. Travis? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Did you break oh, down yeah. there, or you just parked? No, your that's where I was parked. That's that's the levee in St. Louis. That's down at the levees, down by the river boats, <laughs> and it's the only oversized parking <clears throat> downtown. And it was, I mean, it, it it was a good angle. It was a good angle. Oh man, I'd be losing it. I'd be losing it. I'd be so freaked out. Mm -hmm. And then doesn't I mean it was a good it, if you're staying hours, there, we, aren't people rolling out of beds? No, we didn't stay there. That's where we parked oh. while we went and walked around downtown and saw some stuff. So which I'm gonna try to get out this week. I gotta catch up some stuff. So Yes, but, Lillian, yeah. that is sketchy. Yep, V very sketchy. Um, so I have a question to me about what's the difference between my two channels. What do you guys think the difference will be in my other channel? What would you expect to see when it's my midlife detour and it's not ambulance stuff? Nobody knows? Nobody but knows? You don't know what's coming out of your mouth next, so how can we guess <laughs> Everybody's afraid to answer. Well, I guess you guys are going to find out in six minutes when we jump over there. Um, yeah, I can get away with saying a lot of stuff because I'm back to the not monetized thing. I expect more craziness. Yeah. More craziness, please. Body yeah. paint, tattoos. <laughs> okay, maybe on that <laughs> one, on that channel, if I get 5,000, I'll do a top of Oh, we're all here to hear. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong channel. I'm on the wrong channel. Where's where's the button here? 
Maybe some boozing <laughs> episodes. Yeah. Pardon? So maybe some boozing episodes, you know, you getting over anxiety. Trips to Vegas. Gotta just Trips to push Vegas. forward and do it. I've only been to Vegas twice. The first time I was with my mom and the second time I took my son when he was 15. But I could definitely handle going again. Oh. Yeah, we can't wait to go again, but this time from the RV side versus the from work and the nice hotels and everything <laughs> else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Live Work Live. So this channel is mostly about the traveling, which, again, keeps getting shut down on me one way or another, and the ambulance and stuff. And because I am in that midlife and I... I want to live it to the fullest. There are so many things that people don't talk about in this stage of life. It's, it's so different than what we've lived already. And I think it's a great way for people to learn about just the best way to survive it. Just even everything connected to sex. Does that get anyone subbing to the channel? Like there's so many things that are different um, with people's bodies and minds and different things that people can do to enjoy sex more. Like, Things like that, that someone in their 20s kind of doesn't really think is relevant, right? Um, it's that time frame for me, for example, that I paid my dues, right? I worked hard. Um, I got my education. My son is out on his own, and it's kind of like, now what? So I want to make it the very best years that I can while I can still do stuff. Hmm. Yep. There you go. Do it. Oh, Nate. Yeah, right. I'm asking guys this. <laughs> hey, midlife stuff well, happens Christina's for men and here. women. What? He said there's only men on the panel. I said Christina's up here. There you go. Sorry, I was asking my husband. I like the way she used her words then. Got our education, and if you're gonna enjoy sex, more. <laughs> well, Ron, let me tell you, they say those that get it the least talk about it the most, and you're gonna get an earful from me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bree? Midlife stuff really is real, it really yep. is, and you know it's a different phase it's different with our finances it's different with our jobs we have retirement planning we have you know there's so many things that we juggle a lot of us have parents that are aging i mean mine is still in good shape but that's not always going to be that's going to change as well so the your hormones totally midlife. your hormones go up and down mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Women have to deal with menopause or premenopause, postmenopause. Plus, your kids are usually teenagers in those years. That makes for a nice, peaceful household. <laughs> hot flashes. I haven't needed the hot flash fan for a while. So, But then it, it's not even just the hormones. It's just so many other things. And it's going to be different, too. Like, okay, I'm in my mid-40s. And I, I mean, we're living in a pandemic right now, but at some point in time, I'm going to want to date because I don't want to just sit here by myself all of the time. What is that going to be like? I want to get people together and I want to hear those really crazy dating stories in our years between 40 to 60, right? It's so different. You know, it's, I don't know. I think there could be a lot of really interesting stuff. So are we going to get like a full report after your dates? Like you go on these dates, are you going to come back and like give us like a full on detail? Like this happened, that happened. Because that's what we want to hear. Really? Mm -hmm. Right. This is how I, I feel about know? this. This is how I reacted to this this time. But when a similar thing happened years ago, that's how I reacted to it then. Like, you yeah. know, yeah, you'd have to see the comparisons. That sounds like fun. Oh, and I could tell you guys some of the stories that my friends have shared with me, too. There's some really good ones. Yikes. Yikes. I'm going to need that keto channel sooner than we think, Ray. You better get on it. <laughs> Next month, September 1st. September 1st. Did everybody hear that? September 1st, Keto Life Rocks is going to relaunch itself. Isn't that exciting? Oh, hey, guys. I'm late to for go. my other live stream. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. You got uh, four people waiting over there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. It should be actually showing five because I'm there too. <laughs> is she? Okay, is this woman so wearing body paint? Pinned, the link is pinned to the top of the chat. I will see you guys all there. Thank you so much for being here.